What's going on guys? Welcome back to WDYDCSP. What do you do as a central stove processor? Guys, I'm going back to basics and we're talking activation of your biological indicators. That's right guys, I'm talking activation of your biological indicators because guess what guys? The number one reason why we get positive reads on our biological is not the malfunction of the sterilizer, but improper activation of the biological, human error. And it's gonna happen, guys, it's gonna happen. Um, as always, guys, follow your IFUs. Make sure that you're activating these correctly, but I'm gonna hook you guys up and help you out. So, let's get into it. In front of me, guys, I have three different types of, uh, three biological indicators. Um, two from one company and one from the other. So let's talk about the anatomy of what a biological indicator has. So these three biological indicators are known as self-contained biological indicators, being that the growth medium, the endospore, and the container in which you're gonna house um, and incubate is all in one. So let's go through this anatomy. So here in my hand, I have a 3M, a test biological indicator, okay? A little quick, this is a quick read. So this is a 24 minute read biological indicator. Um, on the actual cap, very important because this is where most of the errors occur. The cap has events that have um, a filter over it, okay? Those vents are there for a reason. This is an aerobic bacteria and requires oxygen to breathe or to live, okay? If we cover those vents up, it is possible that we create a false positive, false negative results. So it is important and stated in the IFU that we should not place any load stickers or lot stickers over this area. That is why the label provides a space to put in the date, the sterilizer number, and the load number, right? If you have a tracking system, there's no need to do that. Okay, because the tracking system is linked up or can be linked up to your biological incubator as well as your sterilizer. So the cap, very important, has the vents. It has a type one process indicator on the top. Okay, that lets you know that it is exposed to the sterilant. Okay, it tells you the bacteria of choice, which is Geobacillus sterothermophilus. It tells you the modality of sterilization, for this one is vaporized hydrogen peroxide sterilization, okay? It has the uh, reference number so that you know which uh, modality and uh, reordering if you need to, a space for the date, the sterilizer, and the load, as well as the, one of probably the most important information on this label, which is the expiration date and lot number because of course, you wanna make sure that your control and your biological has the same lot number and that the items are not expired. Now, all three of these biologicals have the same information on either the cap, okay, or on the base, all right? And there is a type one indicator, you can see right around the base there, and the type one indicator on this is right here on the side, it lets you know what color it should change. Now these two here are used for steam sterilization. Uh, the same bacteria choice, Geobacillus sterothermophilus, same information on there. So let's talk about this anatomy again. So the cap has the vent, okay, which is very important, okay, but inside the outer vessel, okay, is a little ampule, glass ampule with some growth medium or nutrients for the microorganisms. And now you may ask, well, where are the microorganisms? Well, for this particular self-contained biological indicator, there is an impregnated little strip of paper right there. That little strip right there in the bottom on the base is impregnated with a million spores, right? About a million spores. For this one right here, okay? Right there in the bottom, there is a little filter right there, and that is impregnated with the spores. For the Steris um, Verify Assert uh, Self-Contained Biological Indicator, the cap is the actual housing 
for the growth medium and the microorganisms. There is a little foil pack right there in the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. The vessel itself is used to capture um, that growth medium and microorganisms once it's activated. So let's talk activation. But before we do that, safety first, right? Have to wear those gloves. And I just happen to have a pair of gloves right here. Okay, so place on your gloves. Um, please, again, follow your IFUs. Your IFUs may also state that you need to use safety glasses um, to activate, but we're here, okay? This is the attest, um, assert biological indicator. In order to activate this thing is you're gonna hold the, the vessel firmly in one hand and you're gonna turn the, cop the top uh, clockwise until you can't turn it no more. That will puncture the foil and you're gonna grab the top and shake down firmly for about five seconds, okay? This ensures that the growth medium and the microorganisms are pushed down from the cap and into the vessel where you can place this into its incubator so that it can be read. For the 3M um, this is the 1292. This is a pre-vacuum slash gravity 250 degree biological indicator. Okay, this one here is probably the one that I see the most errors happen to when activating. Okay, reason being is the cap needs to be pushed down until you see no gap between the filter and the top. You should see no gaps in there. Okay, you shouldn't be able to see through. You should just be able to see that little filter paper. To activate, okay, you need the incubator. Okay, you can do this other ways, but not safely. Okay, the incubator has a built-in activator or crusher. Okay, you're gonna place your biological in there and you're gonna turn it to the empty slot until you hear the crunch. Do that a few times. And again, it is important for you to flick down the growth medium into the microorganisms until the bottom little cotton swab or the cotton uh, filter is saturated with the growth medium. This will give you a good mix. And when you place this into the incubator, it is a good idea to push down on the cap to see it well into the well, right? Okay, this is the proper way that you should see your ink, your biological indicator into your um, biological indicator into your incubator. And lastly, we have the 24 minute read. The 24 minute read again is one of those designs where the cap comes down, but when the cap comes down, it actually crushes the growth medium or pushes the growth medium into a slot that will break the glass, activate it with the um, impregnated, impregnated um, little sheet there, but in order to activate this, you need a crusher, okay? So this design here has a little square base with a rounded front and a flat back. So flat should face the back of the actual crusher and the base into the square. Once you do that, lower down the handle and crush firmly, okay? When you do that, you open it back up. And again, it's important that you flick down the growth medium so that in that little square base you see no bubbles and no gaps that is extremely important to reduce the risk of getting a false positive or negative again when you place this into the incubator it is a good idea to push down to make sure that the top is seated completely all right guys i hope this little bit of information and education helped a few of you guys understand why am I getting some positives or what am I doing wrong? As always guys, follow that IFU and you can never go wrong. And if you ever need a little bit of help, help, just check out my video. As always, stay true to yourselves, keep it 100, continue educating yourself, and until next time, peace.